Sup, guys and girls. Season 5, Episode 3 of Raven's Home. Let's go. Alright then. On with the show. Episode 3 is called Escape Palcatraz. It starts off after the intro with Victor sleeping, but everyone just keeps waking him up. Alice wants to go to the zoo to see the tigers, but Victor says he's tired and should paint a picture of a tiger. She says he's going to regret that. Happy they showed a bond moment between Alice and Victor. The new Booker and the Bookettes wake Victor up second because they want to watch Palcatraz on DVD. Victor sends them on a tour to learn about Palcatraz. And this whole thing, I didn't really care about. I found it weird how Booker has become friends with Ivy and Neil so fast. Lastly, Raven wakes up Victor to watch TV, but then Raven has a vision about the Chill Grill. Victor gets concerned, but Raven tells him there's nothing to worry about. The Chill Grill looks good as well, though the front looks a little different. When Raven gets there, a fourth new character is introduced this season. His name is Laszlo, and Raven doesn't remember him, but he remembers her. He was there in past events. Hello! Welcome to the Chill Grill. My name is Raven, and this is my winning smile. The world-famous band, Boys in Motion, are coming down here today to the Chill Grill. <laughs> he calls back to the pie in episode two as well. I even sent him a get well soon pie. Did you get it? Yeah, we got it. Nice continuity. He even references cleaning up the pizza from my big pizza party. Now, this could have been the perfect chance to shoot new footage instead of putting him in a green screen. Here's how it should have happened. Laszlo says to Raven, who do you think cleaned up that big pizza? Then flashback. Old footage is used, and then new footage. Have Victor bring in Laszlo to the back, and he sees the big pizza, and Laszlo says to Victor, Do I really have to clean all this up? Anyway, I do like how he was brought into the show. I could buy it. I can buy is the one where Raven was dancing, because that was too noticeable. Laszlo also said he was at a wedding, getting married to Devon, and thought it wasn't going to last long. Laszlo said he's been the right-hand man of Victor's for over 20 years. So does that mean... When Victor went to the White House, that he took over the Chill Grill, the vision Raven had was that the Chill Grill kitchen was going to be set on fire. Laszlo, when cooking, was making it look like he was going to be the one to set everything on fire. Raven was trying to prevent this, but this made Laszlo quit, and Raven had to take over for a bit. In the end, it was Raven who was actually the one to set the Chill Grill kitchen on fire. Raven knows this is not her thing, and she offers Laszlo his old job back, and he accepts and won't tell Victor. At the end of the episode, Victor is still sleeping, and that's when the new Booker and the Bookettes arrive home, and they see Alice has painted a tiger on Victor's face. Alice hands Booker the brushes, and this is when Victor wakes up. Ivy and Neil leave, and this is when Victor screams Booker's name out loud after finding out what happened to him. After what's said and done, the most important thing to come out of this episode was the reference of Eddie Thompson. I've waited five years for this. Let's fucking go. Language. Shut up, Captain. Let me have this. But you won't believe what I found out. They almost didn't reference Eddie and Chelsea. The reference to them was not in the original script. Whoever overturned this, give them or her a race. Thank you. It's just one step closer to Alanda Brown getting on this show. Speaking of characters appearing on the show, still no reference to Tanya. She definitely needed to be referenced during episode 2. Whenever Annalise comes back as Chelsea, I know when she sees Laszlo, she's going to say hi and Raven's going to be like, Seriously, how does everyone remember him but me? I give the episode a 4 out of 10. The reason for that is all the book of stuff that was happening. But that's all I gotta say about that. So get your fingers up and say it with me. Eddie Thompson is awesome. Hopefully he's a basketball player and or a rapper. Bye.